coming into a standing position and starting at the top of our mat, taking the palms directly into prayer, pressing the thumbs against the chest, and then closing the eyes. Softening through your toes, finding length in through your spine. And start to breathe slow, deep, in and out of the nose. Starting an energetic series, slow to begin. Open the eyes, inhale the arms toward the ceiling, slightly leaning back. And then exhale, hinging from the hips, coming into a forward fold. You're going to hang out here for a little bit. So getting comfortable if you need to step your feet about hips width, allowing the upper body to be heavy, hanging forward, and breathing in and out of the nose. Shaking out the head a little bit. You're welcome to interlace the fingers behind the back, reaching them up toward the ceiling for a little bit deeper of a stretch in through the front of the body. And as we release our arms down, bend your knees nice and deep. And we're gonna step your left leg back, nice and deep, coming into a deep runner's lunge. So dropping the back knee, setting your shoulders down and back. And just take a moment here for a couple of breaths. Allow the hips to be heavy, getting into the stretch of the hip. Good. Stepping the right leg back now into a high plank. Palms are directly underneath the shoulder blades, engaging through your core, setting your shoulder scapula down and back. And let's drop down onto the knees. Lower down chin and chest to the mat, keeping the glutes lifted. And then slowly uncurl your toes, coming into a baby cobra, floating the palms and even the toes here. Continue to breathe for five breaths, using the engagement of the muscles of the back. Tuck the toes, plant the palms, push yourself up. Down dog, direct. Exhale. Hang out here for a couple of breaths, walking out your feet, shaking out your head. Inhale the heels up toward the ceiling. Exhale the heels back down toward the mat. And then start to walk your palms to your feet. You're standing at the back of the mat now. Palms to the shins. Flat back inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Head comes up last, okay? Roll up your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. And as those shoulders stack to the hips, Inhale the arms up to the ceiling, look up and lean back. Palms to prayer, exhale, soften your toes. Good. Stepping the right leg forward, and then just open up the arms to the side as you float the back left leg. Set the shoulder scapula down and back. Maybe even introduce a little bit of a pulse with that left leg moving in space, squeezing that left glute muscle tightly and then stepping that left foot to the top of the mat as the right foot comes forward, big toes touch, arms up, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Wiggle the feet about hips width, shake out the head, hang out here for two breaths. Really allow the upper body to be heavy. Okay, now we're gonna step the right leg back into that deep runner's lunge. You still have that front knee to heel alignment. Allow the hips to be heavy so you can get into a little bit of an opening through the front of the body. And continue to breathe in and out of the nose. Try to keep your core engaged. So for today's practice, breathe a little bit more into the rib cage. Really find that expansion. Good, planting the palms, high plank pose. Hang out here for a couple of breaths. All fingers are nice and spread and the knuckles are firmly planted to try to equally distribute the weight. Again, set the shoulder scapula down and then drop the knees. Chin chest comes down, keep your glutes high. 
Uncurl the toes. Come back into that baby cobra for five breaths, floating up the palms and the toes, really squeezing your glutes here. Try to pull those elbows down and back so you get a little bit more height through the front of the body. Tuck the toes, plant the palms, push up. Down dog direct. Exhale, second one. Walk out the feet, shake out the head, and just breathe. You've most likely practiced yoga before, so today we're just gonna focus on the act of doing and trust that your body and bringing your body into those postures, you know what to do. Opening up through the front of the armpits by pushing with the palms in the mat, extending that chest palate toward your thighs. And then start to walk your palms to your feet, coming to the back of the mat and the hips width forward fold. Palms to the shins, inhale a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. And just like before, roll up your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale the arms up, squeeze the glutes. Palms to prayer, exhale, soften through your toes and your jaw. Nice work. Now step your left leg forward. You're in the middle of the mat. Arms come out to the sides and you're just extending that back right leg, floating it just above the mat. Start to find some glute squeezes as you pulse that right leg through space for about three more. Controlled two, stepping that right foot to the top of the mat, big toes touch, inhale the arms up. Nice work, forward fold, exhale. We're gonna speed it up now. Palms to the shins, flat back, inhale. Left leg steps back, coming into that deep runner's lunge. You could stay here with the palms or you could reach the arms up for two breaths. Really pressing into the outstep of that right foot, but pull the right hip back slightly so the hips are squared to the top of the mat. Palms to the ground, high plank pose. Feel free to add a couple of push-ups if you have energy. Knees, chest, chin, or high plank to low. All the way down, baby cobra, two breaths, lifting up the palms and the feet. Push yourself up, down dog direct. Exhale, two breaths. Good, enjoy that stillness. You're not fully passive here, still pushing the mat away from you. Good. Walk the palms to your feet. Palms to the shins, flat back, inhale. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Forward fold, exhale. Stand straight up, inhale, reach the arms up. Palms to prayer, exhale. Right foot steps forward, coming into that floating position and pulse that back left leg for five, four, three, two, stepping that foot forward to the top of the mat. Inhale the arms up toward the ceiling. Forward fold, expel all of the breath out of the body. Palms to the shins, flat back, breathe in. Right leg steps back now, coming into a deep runner's lunge. Repeat what you did from the other side here for those two breaths. Engaging in through Mulaban, your pelvic floor pulls in and up to maintain your lower spine alignment. Palms to the floor, high plank pose for two counts. Setting yourself up and listening to your body if you need to adjust. And then slowly lower all the way down in whatever way to then float on your navel, lifting up the palms and the feet. Tuck the toes, high plank, down dog direct, exhale, two breaths. Nice, body should be getting a little bit warmer, warmer now. Try to keep breathing in and out of the nose, okay? To keep the heat internal. Walk your palms to your feet. Palms to the shins, flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Stand it up, inhale, reach the arms overhead, slight squeeze to the glutes as you lean back. Palms to prayer, exhale. Now left foot steps forward, tucking the back toe under, opening up the arms to the side. Get that internal rotation through the right knee. Your hips are square, pulsing the back right leg for five, four, three, Good, stepping that right foot forward, top of the mat, big toes touch, arms up, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Palms to the shins, flat back. 
This time, plant the palms, walk or jump the feet back into a high plank pose. You're here for a minute. So set the scapula down and back, and then just find a focal point with the eyes. Notice what's happening, if it's more of a body response today, if there's lots of sensations happening, or if it's something more cognitive based, if you're thinking a lot, if you're feeling emotional in any kind of way. Halfway through, so you could label these things that are taking place in the moment, but just try not to keep your attachment to them. It's just one day, one moment in time, and creating a little bit of space for there to be a change and for there to be flow. Final eight, hang in there. If you need a child's pose after this, feel free to take it. Otherwise, you could flush it out, high plank to low, cycling through a full set, whether you float on the belly or you're keeping it active and you're coming back into a downward dog. Now that was the first true flush. And if you've got the energy today, let's take five more back to back. Just as moving at your own pace. You could bring in your ujjayi breath if you choose to at this time. If you've got lots of energy, taking a few more, or maybe throwing in a few push-ups. Of course, you could drop down onto those knees as another option as well. When you're done getting into that down dog, we're just gonna do one more posture here coming up. A nice, easy, basic one. For those in child's pose, slowly bring yourself from tabletop and you're just gonna step the feet a little bit wider from that downward dog and start to walk the palms to the feet. Okay, take the toes out on an angle and then bending down into a squat position. Palms to prayer if it's there. If the heels are quite high, we're gonna be here for about a minute. If the heels are quite high and you need some support, maybe a block is out in front of you, you could always take um, a block or a pillow underneath the heels. And we're just working on really finding that lengthening sensation in through the lumbar spine. So letting go of any kind of tension that could have been built up throughout your day. Maybe it's even years of posture, injury. Body holds a lot of memory too, so there could be emotional stuff in there. Good, you're about halfway through. Continue to breathe slow and deep. Allowing that body and mind to settle. Beautiful final three breaths. As you blink the eyes open, plant the palms tabletop, take a few cat cows just on your own. Shoulders rolling back on your inhale. Exhale, rounding out through the spine. Do this as many times as you need before you come into your next add-on. Making sure that you take a child's pose at some point in time before the next series comes through the playlist. 